Hi everyone, it's Miss Naima. Welcome to your second lesson for your colourful semantics. So let's recap what we have done for your first lesson. So in the first lesson, we've said what colourful semantics is. So let me just read through what it means again. So colourful semantics is a method used to teach children how to understand and build sentences. It will also help you with your use of grammar and finding the meaning of some words. Now, for those of you who have missed your first lesson for colourful semantics, let me go through the details of how colourful semantics works. So colourful semantics has a colour coding system in place. So for orange, you need to say who you can see in the picture. So who is in the picture? For yellow is level two, so level one is orange, level two is yellow. For yellow, you need to say what they're doing in the picture. For level three, it's green. So green, you need to say what object you can see in the picture. And for level four, it's blue. So where is the location? So where is the place in the background of the picture? Now, um, this is also a recap. So level one, who can you see? Level two, who can you see and what are they doing? Level three, who can you see? What are they doing? What object can you see? And level four, who can you see? What are they doing? What object can you see? And where is the location? Now, this is just a, a small key in place just to help you um, with your different levels of your sentence build up. So for orange, who is in the picture? So uh, for uh, your first lesson, we chose a picture or a character from this uh, list over here. Now, um, yellow, what are they doing? So what did the person in this level do in the picture over here? So we chose what they're doing in, from this list of pictures. Now the next level, level three, is what object is there? So what person we chose? what um, they're doing in the picture and what object, what um, extra object there is in the picture. And the last level was, where is the location? So where is the location of the person that we chose? So what background is the location in? Now, what we are going to do today is, we are going to describe the picture that you can see on the screen. So what can you see? Can someone tell me? What is it showing us? I'll give you a little hint. It's a subject or topic related to your English work that you have been doing this term. Um, another hint could be um, the class text you have been reading so far for this term at home. Yes, well done. It's about Victorians and it's about the life of Queen Victoria. So we are going to describe this picture from Queen Victoria's age. And remembering before we write down our sentences, Please remember your key, uh, so your level one, level two, level three, and level four. So level one, you need to say who is in the picture, what you can see in the picture, uh, what object you can see in the picture, and where is the location, so where can you see the picture is, or where are the people in the picture. Now, words that you can use to help you write your sentences. So these are some of the words that I saw on the picture that you can use. So for example, Queen Victoria, Prince Albert, sitting, children, on a chair, living room, and playing. Please do not write the words on its own. I want you to build a sentence as you did for your first lesson. So build a sentence, remembering each sentence includes a capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end of each sentence. So let me give you an example what I would have written. As you can see, I can see Queen Victoria and Queen Albert in the picture and also their children. So I've written Queen Victoria and P Prince Albert for my level one question. So who I can see in the picture? I can see Queen Victoria and P Prince Albert. What are they doing? So what are Queen Victoria and Prince Albert doing in the picture? Queen Victoria and Prince Albert are sitting now, what object can you see in the picture? So I can say, where are they sitting? So I can say, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert are sitting on a chair. And where are they sitting on a chair? They are sitting in the living room. So Queen Victoria and Prince Albert 
are sitting on a chair in the living room. So that is my full sentence. Now, you can also pause this video right now to make your sentences using these words over here. Now, remember to put your work on tapestry so I can see you've built up of your different sentences that you have made using the different levels of your colourful semantics. Let me go back to the slide. So you can pause the video right now to build up your sentences using these words over here. Uh, please remember to put your work on tapestry and I can't wait to see all your sentences. Thank you very much for listening today. Bye.